Last time we stated a very interesting result, uh, one of the first results in game theory due to von Neumann and that deals with the game of chess and the, the result was that uh, one and only one of the following three statements is true. Either white has a winning strategy or uh, uh, black has a winning strategy or each player has a strategy guaranteeing at least a draw because exactly one of them is to be true. Um, Therefore, the fourth possibility of neither of these three things uh, are true is, is not a possibility. Now, in this uh, module, we are going to prove that formally. So, because we want to prove it, we will have to develop a, a little bit of more notation. So, um, each vertex in this game tree, uh, let's uh, start with the game tree of uh, chess, um, is a game situation because this, uh, once you are given a specific node, let's say this node, uh, you exactly know uh, through which path it has been reached and therefore you know the whole game situation. Uh, we denote by gamma of x the subtree rooted at x including the, the node x itself. So this whole uh, uh, subtree starting from x, uh, we are going to define that, uh, denote that as gamma of x. Now we also have uh, this uh, notation nx which says that number of vertices in gamma of x. Because it's a finite game, uh, we can always enumerate and say that uh, there are exactly nx number of vertices in gamma of x. Now consider a node which is uh, which is a vertex in this uh, subtree of gamma of x and uh, y is not uh, equal to x. So something here. And uh, we are uh, we are clear that uh, because this is a tree, uh, the, the subtree that is rooted at y uh, and denoted by gamma of y is uh, going to be a subgraph of uh, subgraph of, uh, of gamma of x. And therefore, this n y, if you want to call the number of nodes here, uh, that is certainly is going to be smaller than n of x, the number of nodes. Now we. Um, um, also know that uh, if the nx is equal to 1 that means there exist, exists only one node in the subtree which is x itself then x itself is a terminal node there is no future uh, nodes possible no future actions uh, possible there the game ends and when the game ends it ends in one of the three outcomes win for uh, white win for b uh, or uh, a draw now the proof proceeds uh, via an induction on this number of nodes on nx. So the theorem, uh, the theorem that uh, uh, we have just mentioned is trivially true for nx equal to 1. And why is that? Because at, at this terminal node, as we said, either one of the three uh, outcomes can happen. Uh, if the white king is removed, then b wins. If the uh, black king is removed, then white wins. And if both of them exist and there are no more moves, then the ga game ends in a draw. All right, so we know that uh, for uh, one node system, it is definitely true. Now what we are going to look at is, suppose we have nx, which is strictly greater than one. And our induction hypothesis is that for all the vertices uh, y in, uh, in uh, gamma of y, such that this uh, n y is less than n of x, um, uh, then this uh, the statement holds, right? So for all the, all the subtrees here, so, because there is more than one node, there must be some y uh, which is not equal to x and that lives in the subtree of gamma of x. And in that uh, subtree, every vertex follows uh, three statements, one of those three statements and exactly one of those three statements is true. Um, and as we know that gamma of y is a sub game. Uh, so subtree, sub game are uh, all, uh, I mean, used interchangeably in this, uh, uh, as we go along in this proof. Uh, so uh, I think uh, drawing a uh, figure uh, will, will make it more clear. So what we know uh, from the induction hypothesis is uh, that uh, if we start from X, we do not know uh, how we can conclude which of these three statements or um, uh, we haven't proved that uh, uh, one and exactly one 
uh, of these three statements is true at x, but, but we know that at every uh, subtree of uh, of x, uh, excluding x, uh, this statement is true. That is because uh, in each of these cases, uh, the the subtree st subtree starting from here and the rest of the network, uh, the in y is strictly less than uh, n x, and there we already know that one of these three statements and exactly one of these three statements is true. All right, so uh, let's uh, uh, get back to our uh, definition. So uh, we, without loss of generality, let's assume at this uh, uh, game situation X, uh, it's the move for white. And um, a very similar and analogous argument can be used if the uh, it was a move for the black player. Uh, all the things can be retraced in a very similar way and I can leave that as an exercise. So let's uh, define this notation C of X uh, by c of x we uh, uh, denote all this type of nodes which are reachable from x in one action uh, of, of this particular player of the player white right so this is essentially this uh, this node so and we know that uh, at each of these nodes uh, in each of the nodes in cx uh, it's the uh, it's uh, a move for player uh, b the, the black player now uh, there can be three possible cases. We are going to uh, go over that one by one. So the first case is, um, it may be possible that there exists some Y naught. So suppose this one is Y naught, um, which is in CX. And in that place, in that node, uh, the statement one is true because we know that uh, the one of these three statements is definitely going to hold. Suppose uh, uh, the statement one holds in uh, gamma of y naught, then we conclude that uh, this uh, statement one is even true in this gamma of x, that is the uh, uh, node starting from here. And uh, why is that true? Because in y naught node, uh, it, the white player can guarantee a win. The white player who plays here, uh, it, it can just pick this action and reach to that why not and at, at why, why not it knows that it has a winning strategy. So fair enough, so uh, we have found a winning strategy uh, for white player even at the node x if case 1 holds. So the let's go to the second case. So the second case is that uh, there could be a situation that for all y, so for all the nodes in this cx, uh, the statement 2 is true, that is b has a winning strategy. Then we know that even 2 is true in uh, gamma of x because the moment, uh, so no matter whatever action uh, the white player picks, so suppose uh, y is somewhere here, I mean it, it picks um, uh, the uh, the white player picks this action and reaches this uh, strategy, uh, uh, reaches this uh, game situation of y and then player b picks the optimal action or uh, the winning strategy at that y and it will ensure a winning strategy. So the fact that at every node in the CX, uh, there exists a winning strategy for B, it also ensures that there exists a winning strategy at X. Now the case three is when none of this holds and that is uh, quite interesting. So because case one and case two does not hold here, um, then um, we can conclude uh, both of these things one by one. So because one does not hold, um, then W, the uh, white does not have a winning strategy in any of this uh, in any of these nodes uh, in CX. Uh, and since the induction hypothesis uh, holds for every Y uh, in in CX, therefore either B can have a winning strategy, or they both have a draw guaranteeing strategy. Right? This is these are the two possibilities. Right? Um, one of the other two things has to happen. Now we notice that even two does not hold, I mean case two also does not hold, um, then you can come back to case two and negate this sentence, uh, negate this statement which says that there must exist some y uh, for which uh, this, uh, uh, this player B does not have a winning strategy. So um, what was case two? Case two was saying that for all uh, uh, nodes in CX, uh, player B has a winning strategy. The negation of that is that there exists some uh, node at least uh, where B does not have a winning strategy. 
Now, um, uh, from, from what we know, know uh, that there, there could be two possibilities. Either B has a winning strategy or both have a draw guaranteeing strategy. Now we have found some Y prime in C of X where B does not have a winning strategy. So uh, player A, uh, player white, uh, who is making the current move, can actually pick that particular action which leads, uh, leads uh, it to a specific Y prime. So let's say this is the Y prime uh, uh, point where B does not have a winning strategy. So this white player can just pick this action and go to a situation where B does not have a winning strategy, but both of them has a guaranteed uh, draw guaranteeing strategy. And therefore, uh, the statement three must be true in this case. And therefore, uh, we, we also conclude that uh, if case three holds, then uh, you can ensure the, that three, uh, the third statement of that, uh, uh, of that proposition is true. All right, so that essentially concludes the, uh, the proof.